Well, everyone's heard horror stories about dating, and it often seems like the tougher it gets, the older you get. Mm -hmm. So gynecologist and sexual medicine expert Dr. Lauren Stryker and relationship expert Bella Gandhi are here to talk about dating after 40 and how to make it awesome instead of awful. Guys, thanks awesome. for joining awesome. us. Awesome. 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 I love it. Awesome. I want to hear from you. What are the common problems this age group faces when it comes to dating? Well, I'll tell you what. Dating over 40, the biggest, the biggest problem is actually confidence. The problem isn't dating. The majority mm -hmm. of our clients at Smart Dating Academy are single women and single men over the age of 40. There are great singles out there in this city. 43% of the adult population in this country is single. That's almost That's one That's in two wow. adults. And we see amazing love stories happen to people that are over 40 all the time. So if you want to hear the best of what we can do from you from a dating standpoint to get your mind, your body in order, this event is going to be like nothing we've ever put on before. So it's going to be really fun. Because we have a panel that really covers it all. So Bella, of course, is going to talk about how to find love. And then we have Alexandra <laughs> Solomon, a, a, a PhD therapist, psychologist from Northwestern University, who's going to talk about her book, Loving Bravely, and how to make sure it's the right love. And then I'm going to talk about getting naked. Because <laughs> at the end it's of important. the day, when we talk about confidence, and that is our theme, for the woman over 40, it's kind of daunting. Because think about it. You know, all those years of wine and Chardonnay and childbirth <laughs> are not necessarily kind to your hips and your thighs. And women feel like the guys are just like honing in on that one little inch of cellulite. And I'm here to say no. no not. And these are the physical challenges that people may have over 40. 40, 50, 60, because they might have been dealing with other medical conditions like, you know, diabetes or heart disease or cancer that are going to sabotage their ability to have a normal sexual response. That it's a lot of it is probably getting over misconceptions about dating That's over right. 40. Uh, the idea that maybe there's something wrong with it or something, you know, it's it's wrong to be single over 40. And you mentioned some of the stats. I mean, that is just a, a, a that is just flat out wrong. It's flat out wrong, and there are things you can do. Number one. For people over 40, get over your fear of technology, yeah. okay? Online dating is not for degenerate, creepy people. Right. Just, and people are so afraid, like, oh my gosh, what if people see me? out there. I'm like, well, if they see you, guess what? They're on there too. They're on there too. Right. So just, you've got to get over certain notions. And one in three married people, as of last year, met on an online dating yeah. site or app. So this is mainstream people. You got to join the party, but mm. there is a way to do it right. right. And yeah. that's what people need to learn. And I think that's what we're going to really cover at this event. How do you brass tacks? What kinds of photos? What do you write in your profile? What are the best sites and apps to get yourself out there? And then once you start dating, how do you make sure Alexander's going to talk about how you're bringing your best self? Mm -hmm. How do you become a good partner? And then you know where it all ends ends up but in the bed, so <laughs> there we go. But we're also going to be very practical, very advice oriented, because people want to walk away with good information. So yes, we're going to have a lot of fun, and we've got a lot of surprises planned, but we want the women to walk out of there saying, okay, I really got something out of this. There's going to be a big question and answer mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, part of the event so that people will have a chance to That's interact nice with us. That's a little give and take, yeah. Absolutely. We're going to be mingling after it with our with our wine and our hors d'oeuvres. I was going to say, there's got to be some booze there somewhere, right? Oh, my God. We yeah. have <laughs> dating go hand in hand. Absolutely. You can't have one without the other. Very we have a wonderful wine sponsor, pop up. Chloe Wine. Chloe Wine Ooh. is going to be there, Claire, Claire and Makeup. I mean, we just have such great support for this event and it's going to be really fun so in order to go this mm -hmm. is what's important because tickets are going fast right. so we want people to get in on it mm -hmm. um, you can either go to eventbrite and just put in dating after 40 and that of course will get you there you can go to my website drstriker.com d-r-s-t-r-e-i-c-h-e-r.com and there's a little button there that you can um, that you can sign up and keep in mind you might not be the single person but everybody has a single friend, yes. a mom, yeah. someone that they want to support who's really afraid to dip their toes in the Go water. Go with them. Bring Drink them. Wine. Bring Have them. Fun. It'll be fun for anybody. And one of the great benefits, you know, working with single women all the time, it's we, they complain about not having other great single women mm. to go out with right. and to meet. And so the way this event is set up is you're going to get to mix, you're going to get to mingle, there's tables of 10, so you're going to walk out of there with a new instant group of age-appropriate right. friends. I'm not yeah. in the same yeah. boat. Yeah. Yeah. That is a huge going, yeah. deal. And, it's huge. Huge and deal. I want to add that the ticket sales that have been coming in, almost every single one of them is a single 
people are not going to come. I mean, of course, right, bring you the can, right. But the it's point is, is it, and the other. last time I did an event like this, I heard that there was like reunions of tables. <laughs> together, yeah, when they come together. Because they really bonded with these other women. I, and you're that, empowering that. That's what I was going to say. You walk in. No more feel, excuses. Exactly, and then no more empowered. myths. Mm -hmm. All right.